I met Marlon today for the first time at a hospital. I'm not open to the idea of seeing an active gang leader. I've got a bad feeling about this. He says he feels like a king when he looks out at his land. This is what he's worked for all his life, to be on top of the food chain, the commanding chief, the CEO. This man is a, a role model. I can't turn my back on him now. I, I can't abandon him and walk away. I, I can't say to him, now that you've introduced yourself to me and spilt your life's story, I would like to go away and, and, and think about whether I, I, I want to see you or not. He doesn't know me, but he spoke to me as if he did. He poured his heart out before I could say stop. I don't want to hear about your pain, your upbringing, your misguided life. Please, don't let me hear too much. Because you might transform from a scary gangster into a helpless little boy who needed a mother to love you and take care of you. <clears throat> I, I feel like I've just been locked up in prison and sentenced for life. Marlon, please, speak, speak to me. Speak, Marlon, speak. speak.